we already know how to describe a journey in terms of its speed. Distance travelled divided by time taken. But what happens if you want to know more detail about how it travels? It is useful to be able to find the average speed for a journey. You do this, of course, by dividing the distance that the object has travelled by the time it has taken. But it only gives us the average for the whole of the journey. What happens if something changes and its speed changes throughout the journey? It would be useful if we could break the journey up into shorter sections and measure how far the object is from the beginning uh, after different times and then that would enable us to plot a graph of distance against time and we could see exactly how the object has been moving. We're going to look at the journey of a woodlouse and we're going to allow the woodlouse to crawl along a track which is made by putting two metre rulers about a centimetre apart and we're going to measure exactly how far along that track the woodlouse is every five seconds. So we need a stop clock to time how long from the start of the journey and we're going to need the wood lice. Okay, so let's do a results table, ready for when we take the results. The first column is usually the independent variable. The independent variable for this experiment is the time which we'll be measuring in seconds. The second column is in this case is the dependent variable which is the distance from the start and we'll measure that in centimetres. We're going to start at time zero and we're going to measure every five seconds. Hopefully we shouldn't need to go much more than 30 seconds. Okay, let's do the experiment. The first thing we need to do is to select a woodlouse to take part in our experiment. Let's try and choose one that's going to go reasonably quickly. This fellow looks like quite a good specimen. There he is. So we put him ready to start at the beginning of the track. And then he's off. The woodlouse was at 15 centimetres. Ten seconds, the woodlice is 29 centimetres from the start. Fifteen seconds, the wood louse is at forty five centimetres from the start. Twenty seconds, sixty centimetres from the start. Twenty five seconds, seventy five centimetres from the start. And thirty seconds, ninety centimetres from the start. Once he reaches the end, we need to put him safely back in the louse house. It's usual to plot the independent variable on the x-axis. So I'm going to put time in seconds along the x-axis. The dependent variable usually goes on the y-axis, so that's distance, and that's measured in centimetres in our experiment. We need to put the, the numbers on, so the 
time went from zero up to 30 seconds. So we can go zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That uses more than half of the page, which is one of the requirements. And it's a linear scale, it's nice and even. 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 seconds. The distance we need to go up to 90. So we could go zero there. Uh, we could go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Again, we've used more than half of the page and it's a linear scale. 20, 30, 40, 60. Okay, we're ready to plot the points. So far, we've got two marks for a four mark graph question because we've put the axes, we've put the two quantities on, we've put the two units on, we've got linear scales sensibly, more than half the page in each direction. So we're now ready to plot the points, which we do in pencil. The first point when the time is zero, the distance is zero. So the first point is the origin of the graph. The second point, the time is five seconds and the distance is 15 centimeters. So that point goes there. 10 seconds, it's 29. So that's one short of 30. So it's just a little below the line there. 15 at 45. 20, it's at 60. 25, it's at 75. And finally 30, it's at 90. Now on this particular graph, you can see that the points form a nice straight line. And so with a ruler, I'm just going to join them up as a nice straight line. We can see from the graph that it's a straight line, it's rising. So as the time increases, the distance from the start increases. That tells us that the woodlouse continued in the same direction and at the same speed. He, was, he or she was covering the same distance in every five second time interval. So that is the distance time graph for an object which is going at a constant velocity or a constant speed.